All right, friends, welcome back to another video on building multipurpose Laravel 9 and Vue 3 application. And in this video, I will show you how to add client side form validation using vValidate and Yup library. So, first of all, let me show you the final version of what we're gonna build throughout this video. So, if I click on add new user, uh, here we have this form. If I click on save, then we are getting this validation error message. And if I remove this one, uh, we'll instantly see this validation error. It is saying the email is a required field. If I fill out something and it is saying email must be a valid email. And it also performs validation for password as well. It is saying that password must be at least 8 characters. So throughout this video, we'll be building this exact thing. So let's get started. First of all, let's start by installing these two packages npm install v validate this one and similarly we'll be using yup as well and it is saying that yup is a javascript schema builder for value parsing and validation so we'll be using this library and these two packages got installed successfully now let me go to the code editor let me go to list uh, users.view file here we have the save button outside of this form so let me wrap this inside of form as well so let me wrap model body inside of form let me remove this one from here this one let me remove this part and we will be wrapping everything inside of this form let me indent it ok fine now we'll be using two components that comes with the vValidate which is form and fill so let's import those import form comma field from vValidate okay and we'll be using this component in our template so let me go to the form section over here and let's replace this with form over here as well and for the input we'll be replacing that with field and let's add the close tag over here and with field we don't need v model pass but we need to have name attribute with the value of name we can do the similar thing for email and password as well this one with field let's remove this and a name attribute is email and let's close this field let's do the same for password as well let me change this to field let me remove v model let's add a name called password and let's close this and here on this button we are listening for the click event so instead of doing this we can do button type is submit and on the form section we can do on submit we're calling the method called create user now let me go to this function called create user over here for now let me comment this part and let me define that function over here const create user equals and here we'll be receiving values uh, for, from the form input so over here let me do console.log these values now let me go to the browser and try this a new user let me open up the console and let me fill out this form and click on save and we got those values right which is perfect but if I do not fill out this form then we are not receiving any validation message so we'll be working on that part and for validation first of all let me go to that form component that we have used over here and there are various ways to perform validation with vValidate we'll be using the schema technique so here we need to pass validation schema as a props and the value as a schema and we haven't defined this schema so let's define that over here let me define that const schema and we'll be using the yup library so let's import that as well so import everything 
is yep from yep and we can define that schema is yup top object and inside this subject we'll define key and value as a validation so for the name it should be yup dot string and it should be required and we can do the similar thing for email and password email yup dot string and it should be email and it should be required and let's add for password as well password should be yup dot string and it should be required and it should be minimum of eight characters now we need to show that validation message so let me go to that input field over here and let's add a span tag and for the message we can do errors dot name and to get this errors we need to use vslot on our form component so vslot equals errors okay now let me try this let me refresh this page click on add new user and if i click on save now we have this validation message which is perfect right so now let's fix this styling so to fix this styling we need to just use few classes so over here on this one let's we need to add the class called invalid feedback and on this field we need to add the conditional class and so the class call is invalid if uh, there is errors dot name okay now we have this perfect styling which is great and we can do the same for other field as well so let me copy this one from here and for email errors dot email and for the password errors dot password and let's copy this we can also extract this into a component but for now let me leave as it is invalid feedback errors dot email and errors.password let me refresh it uh, close this one add new user and if i click on save we see this validation message if i remove this now it is saying email is a required field if i fill out this form it is saying email must be a valid email and if we put some valid email then that error is gone now if I fill out this form and click on save, we are not saving those information. So let's fix that part as well. So let me go to create user function over here. And we have already run the code for that. So you can perform the excuse post request. Excuse post to this endpoint with these values. And after the, we get the response, then we need to do something let me copy everything from here and paste it let's uncomment this one and we'll not be using form so let me remove this as well and now we do not have form so to reset the form we have another technique so for now let me remove this one as well let me remove console log as well and everything seems good so let me try this Add new user, fill out correct information, click on save, and we saved the user to our database, which is perfect. And finally, there is one more issue. If I click on add new user again, then we have this previous information as we haven't reset the form. And to reset the form, we need to call the reset form method. So over here, let me do reset form. And we'll be getting this reset form from here reset form now let me try this add new user fill out the form click on save and this got added and if i click on add new user again then our form is clear which is perfect 
So this much for this video. I hope you learned something from this video. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel as I will be uploading the videos like this. So till then have a great time and I will see you on the next one.